<clears throat> hey everyone, I constantly feel very uncomfortable leaving my printers alone when I leave the house, so I'm gonna take it for a drive. I'm gonna go negative first. It doesn't feel secure. What, like, what, what could go wrong? Uh, a lot. Sure. But then I didn't. Frick! Okay, there's our first problem. <laughs> Strap it to the wheel. <laughs> we have to take the hood off now. Oh, damn it, I forgot the battery. <laughs> No, this side is no longer attached. Okay, except for the, the arm. Alright, now I'm now I am holding the weight of it. Yeah, you gotta hold the weight of it. Yeah. Is it heavy? No. Okay, give me one second. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, there it is. That side's gonna be heavy. Everyone's gonna be like, you're making the girl hold all the weight. <laughs> you women disrespect her. Okay. Other than that. Other than the safety. Wow! wow. Um, <laughs> dude, heck yeah, I look like a race car driver! <laughs> <laughs> we'll just set it down right here. Right. Yo! Yeah. Heck yeah! Is this what it feels like to be an adult? With adult money? Alright. You just coil it around. Bring it around. Yeah. Oh, you're I think we'll do it from the hinge to the other side. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what do you mean? This seems perfectly normal to do on a... My watch is dead. Whatever afternoon it is. <laughs> Safely strapped it to the vehicle. Oh yeah, I'm just tightening it down. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be rocking, dude. <laughs> I just don't want it to flip back and hit your windshield. Yeah. That's the worst thing to say. And then I would feel like an awful human being. Should we do this? <laughs> We're this far into it. I'm not going back now. Is this safe? <laughs> oh, and Emily the engineer is here. No, this is from Frank. Daniel McJawline. <laughs> Zip ties. We need to put on the Tokyo Drift sound. I don't know, the screen turned off. I will turn on. It is. <laughs> it's actually working. It's so cursed. Frank's gonna be like, no. We got him zip tied down. It's ratchet strapped to the beamer. And uh, it's at 175 degrees. Everything that could go wrong might. This spool is probably gonna fly off. I was like, is his car making some noise? And then it was birds. I'm like, oh, geez. Whatever. Wow, I can smell the mineral oil. I know. Ugh, oh, that smells awful. Yeah, my whole garage does not like it for a hot minute. Worth. Yeah. Wow. That Wait. was like heated up plastic and mineral oil. I mean, it works. Are you gonna drive? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, you gotta start the sprint! That clicking sounds bad. I don't think cars are supposed to be like. Yeah, that sounds normal. Is it actually working? Yeah. No way! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing! Should be good. It's actually working. 
This actually works? That's, that, uh, this, this is something. All right guys, so if you want to run a 3D printer uh, with your car, in case your power goes out, you just gotta get that extra print. The uh, Ryobi dual power inverter and some ratchet straps and a uh, salvage title car. You can make anything happen, as, as the print does. The, the print slipped up. I mean, it works. It works. <laughs> All right, so does it really zoom that slow? Yeah. Wow. Well, the print failed, but that's because Emily soaked it in mineral oil. That's some good engine taking right there.